Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on African Confessions. The following story that you're going to be listening to, it was sent to me by one of our brothers and this is the narration of that message. The message reads like this, Hello brother Nashi, how are you? Can you please post my own story as hidden identity? I come from a family of truck drivers. My grandfather, he was a truck driver. Even my father, my cousins, we are all truck drivers. So, Brother Nashi, growing up in this environment, I then started to notice that in our family, there are a lot of dark rituals that are performed. When we heard this story, we heard that one of our grandfather's brother, who was a cross-border truck driver, he was the first one to ever do this cross-border driving and he was the one who took these charms. It was said that there was this other particular trip when he had traveled all the way to Zambia and he was supposed to go to DRC. So along the way, it was said that there was this other man whom he picked up but this man turned out to be a traditional healer this man he was from mozambique he was traveling from mozambique he wanted to go and see his client there in drc and here i am talking about things that happened a very long time ago when a lot of african countries were still colonized so our, our grandfather's brother, when he picked up this traditional healer, they spoke a lot. That man then told my grandfather's brother that he was willing to give him something that was going to assist him because as a cross-border truck driver, you are always on the road. And indeed, sometimes you feel fatigued, you feel tired, you feel bored. You keep on asking yourself a lot of questions as to why you keep on doing this thing over and over again. Yet the owner of the truck is the one who is making a lot of money. So my father's, so my grandfather's brother, he then agreed to do the rituals. And after he had done these rituals, it was said that this Mozambican traditional healer disappeared. After this traditional healer had disappeared, our grandfather, father's brother was said to have rested by the side of the road because he just wanted to sleep when he woke up to his surprise he felt that the truck was moving at a great speed so he thought that maybe there were some rebels who had hijacked his truck but in those days it was unheard of people hijacking a truck when he woke up when he looked at the driver's seat he saw that there was a baboon a big gray baboon that was driving our grandfather was said to our grandfather's brother said that this baboon then spoke with him it was now connected to him and the day that this baboon was going to die that was the day that he was also going to die so our grandfather's brother started making a lot of money he never rested that man he was always on the road he would only rest when the engine's temperature would have gotten so high so much that the truck will start to complain and to lose power that is when he will just rest the truck he would not rest but he had the truck he would not rest but it was the truck that would be resting then after the engine would have cooled down that is when our, our grandfather's brother will continue with his journey and after our grandfather's brother started making a lot of money our own grandfather was also attracted to these voodoo charms and was also given his own baboon and my grandfather and his brother asked this baboon what this baboon wanted as a sacrifice so this baboon said that it wanted the blood of any child that was below the age of one year and this thing it has been happening in our family if i get married or if i impregnate a woman like for the first time she will have a miscarriage this togology is that our grandfather and his brother brought into the family the deal is that any woman that falls pregnant for any man that comes from our bloodline for the first time that woman will have a miscarriage then the second time around when she will fall pregnant then she will be able to give birth this is the covenant that is there between our bloodline and the devil and there is nothing that can be done because 
our grandfathers, they tied our entire bloodline to this covenant and we cannot release ourselves and we cannot free ourselves from this covenant that they did with the devil. So after they had done this covenant with the devil, that was when my own grandfather was then given his own baboon. My grandfather at that time, he had found a job at this other mining company that was transporting coal from Zim, taking that coal to South Africa. My grandfather made a lot of money, even though we grew up in the villages, but one would think that we actually were staying in the suburbs. He built a very big house, Brother Nashi, but what pains me the most is that at that house, but what pains me the most is that my grandfather's house right now, if you go there, you can't even sleep there because there are a lot of demonic entities that roam around that compound, especially at night. You can hear people talking. You can actually hear baboons that will be fighting. But what surprises us is that our neighbors, they do not even hear anything. So we have all ran away from our grandfather's compound. So we came and we started staying in the city. By the time that my father was also working as a cross-border truck driver. He then got his own baboon. So this thing, it keeps on going on and on like forever. By the time that I had reached 18, I could actually drive a truck. And by the time that I was 25, I was working as a truck driver. Then I came to South Africa. When I came to South Africa at the company where I was working, there were a lot of South African and guys from Zambia. But now most of the Zambian truck drivers, they have returned back to their country. So there was a lot of witchcraft. In this trucking industry, a lot of truck drivers, they love to use this witchcraft because you find out that when you start to work for a certain company, like the old people, those ones, they will be using a lot of charms and those guys, they can actually make you to have an accident so that you can be fired. This is exactly what happened to me. When I started working for this company, since I was very young, they also wanted me to get fired. There was this other day, Brother Nashi, me and this other old Madala, he, me and him, we had a very big argument because our boss had bought brand new trucks. So I was given one of those brand new trucks. So the truck that this old Madala was driving, it had a lot of problems and it was only him who knew how to operate that truck because it was skipping some of the gears. The boss then said, you are going to be using this truck until we get it fixed, then we can sell it since you know it very well. I am not going to let it sit. I need it to bring in some money before I give you another truck. His truck was there at the dealership. It was still just waiting to be brought to the yard. But this old Madala, he complained a lot and he hated me for it. When I left the yard to go and pick up a lord, Brother Nashi, I felt like there was someone that was whispering something into my ears. person that was whispering into my ears kept on telling me that it was time for me to die. It was time for me to die. And the way that I was supposed to die, I had like to make sure that I will hit the car that will be coming from the opposite direction. And when I was passing those through this other mountain pass, there was this other private vehicle that was traveling in the opposite direction. Brother Nashi, I then just blacked out. I don't know what happened. When I opened my eyes, I saw that I had an accident with that private vehicle. But I want to thank God that this, this car that I had an accident with did not fall over the edge of that mountain. Otherwise, maybe right now I could have been in jail. When this accident happened, I then spoke with my father back home. He told me to quickly return back to Zim. When I went to Zim, that was when I was initiated and I was given my own baboon. When I was given this baboon, I had to train it because it was quite young and naughty at the same time. Brother Nashi, this is what I do. When I am 
traveling sometimes i actually go to the sleeper cab and i will be sleeping as this baboon will be busy driving this baboon sometimes it can actually drive throughout the night without rest or anything what confuses me brother naj is that the diesel that will be in the tank it does not get finished when this baboon will be driving so my boss thinks that i am one of his best workers that is very fuel efficient but what he does not know is that i am using this baboon to drive his truck sometimes i can travel from cape town to Jobek without using a single liter of diesel as long as i am not behind the wheel this truck it does not chew any diesel at all it will start to it will start to use the diesel by the time that i'll be sitting behind the wheel when i'll be driving that is when it will start to say one liter two liter but my boss does not even understand how i am so fuel efficient like the way that i am he regularly have me to talk with the other drivers but i cannot tell them anything because i am using this rituals i know that my story is quite confusing but this is what happens in the family we use these baboons brother nashi i can sleep throughout the night knowing that the truck the wheels on the truck will keep on turning round and round without ever stopping brother nashi this is what i do i can actually get a lot that i am supposed to go and deliver in harare i will travel without resting i will only stop at the way bridge at the toll gate and at the border but from there on i will be traveling non-stop brother nashi these are the rituals that we perform as a family and i know that now that i am training my own sons i know that one day i am going to pass on this covenant that we did with the devil to my own son to the next generation Dear listeners, right there was a message that was sent to me and that was the translation of that message that was sent to me by our dear brother. Strange things do happen in this world. Just imagine driving, your, your truck is being driven by a baboon and your driver will be sleeping at the sleeper cab from Cape Town to Jobek, no rest. Strange things do happen in this world. African magic.